In this video, I'll discuss the top part of the calc main window and how to customize it using the user interface dialog. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. This is actually a preview lesson from my Calc Crash course. You can join free to unlock all the lessons and bonus materials. I hope to see you in there. Just go to join.calccourse.com. Now on to the lesson. For the title bar, it just does one thing, but it does it well. It shows the file name. So by default, it'll just put it as untitled one. But if I hit the save button, I gave it a name and now we see it shows my spreadsheet.ods. ODS is the name of LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet. The menu bar shows different items that also appear in other LibreOffice programs. So I'll talk about the four that are more specific to Calc. The first one is the sheet menu item. And here we can do things such as deleting rows or columns and manage the sheet and even change the sheet tab color. Under the data item, we have commands related to sorting using the auto filter and stuff like statistical functions. Under the tools, we can turn off automatic spell checking, protect the sheet, add and run macros, and set options for calc. So here the options dialog opened. Under LibreOffice Calc, we can change various preferences and also we can change preferences for LibreOffice as a whole, which should apply to other LibreOffice programs. And under the view menu, we can hide the grid lines, highlight the row and column where we click and freeze the first row and column of our sheet. Now for toolbars, it's a collection of items with commands when we're using our sheet. It is highly customizable, so we can go to view and under toolbars, there is a customize. There are also a lot of other toolbars that we can show and then hide as needed. So under the customize dialog for toolbars, we can pick specific ones and then we can actually add and remove icons and also change the order of the icons. For menus, we could also change some of the menus if we wanted to, but I recommend not to unless there are some specific ones that you wanted to add. Besides customizing toolbars, we can even further customize by using what's called user interface variants. So under view, we click user interface. We have this selection dialog and we see I'm using the standard toolbar. It gives me a preview of what I'm using and a little bit of a description. If we click the tabbed variant, this looks a little more of present day Excel. And if I just click apply to calc, we see how the menu looks different because each one is its own tab and under each tab are a lot of icon commands. So if I click around, we see how there are a lot of icons and we see the text of the command as well. Even the menu itself is a little different. So for layout, it doesn't exist in the standard menu. If we wanted to access more commands on the right side, we have the file menu and we see all the normal commands associated with it. So to switch it back, we could go to this option icon on top and then choose user interface and switch back to the standard. For even more customization, we could take a look at each of these five variants and it basically allows a more compact view to show more of the spreadsheet. And here the apply to all button is so that it would also apply to other LibreOffice programs. But for now, I'll just go back to the standard toolbar and click apply to calc. And for the rest of this course, I'll just keep it using the standard. So that's it for the title bar, menu bar and toolbars. Now we can move on to the next lesson, the formula bar.